Okay, we're doing a college cast. We can only go back slab in an ED setting. So what we want to do is try and get the patient to uh, assume the correct position. So for colleagues, we're doing slightly arm reflection and a bit of ulnar deviation. And the first thing we do is put a stop in it on. So a cast should begin roughly two finger spaces below the uh, joint to the elbow. So you can put your stop in it up that little bit further and down over the knuckles as well. A small cut for the thumb. And then we wrap it in the wool. So the thing about the wool is you one complete circuit and then 50-50 all the way down. So you're just lapping it over. You don't want too much wool in any of the casts. Then you're coming through the space here, so basically a tear about halfway down the wool. You're passing over the tongue and you want to get your wool just at the edge of the, over the knuckles so that your plaster will be nice and soft. And just make sure you keep that position. Next we uh, measure our plaster. So it's just going from the edge of the knuckle up to that two finger space below the elbow. We put it on our plaster table and anything between 8 and 10 layers of this slab is what we'd use. Now I'm just going to use what's on the roll here, we don't want to be wasting HSC money but uh, generally about 8 to 10 layers. And I cut it in quadrant out of one corner just so that it fits around the tongue. So that's your slab, you're going to get your water in, tepid water, and you're going to dip it for a couple of seconds, give it a good squeeze, get any excess water out, don't squeeze it too much mind you, you don't want any plaster escaping really, and the important bit then is to make sure that the fact that it's in contact with the patient is nice and smooth. So that there's no creases there in the skin or anything that cause any trouble afterwards. Get your plaster. You can always start up at the tongue and make sure it's fitting right here because you can cut any if it's too long any excess at the back. So it's just a little bit long, that's okay. A nice snug fitting plaster, making sure you have the position right. And then you just get your conforming bandage. Give it a little dip as well because it conforms better around the plaster when it's, when it's damp. And you're wrapping from the inside out. I always go from the inside out with bandages and I'll explain why as we're getting up to the top. So a nice snug wrap, not too tight. And then you're passing through here. And this spreads out the knuckles of the hands as well when you're doing plasters of any description. So I've had all this to come from the inside out. And it spreads the knuckles out, across the back, through the space again. And generally back up. Turn back your stock in it. You need to ensure that it's far enough away from the joint of the elbow so that it doesn't catch the patient when you're putting it up in the sling. Generally you hold it, give it a bit of a press just to make sure it's setting. And once it sets then you're just finishing it off with one layer of bandage again. And a bit of tape or a little bit of plaster just over the side where the bandage finishes. That's your colleague's cast, put your patient in the sling, nice and high, and that's it.